Can you hold this? Yeah. Hello, hold on, my hold on, hold on. It's blurry. It's ready. Hello, my Shock Shock friends. It is 2016 American Open. This is our third American Open, right, babe? Together? That's true. Our first American Open was the first time I ever competed. First time Ryan ever canceled me out of meet. And then later that weekend, Ryan told me that he loved me. I guess we're going to the lobby. Two or one? One. So, if you ever compete at a big meet, most of the time it's at a hotel, a conference center and hotel. Second floor. Just like probably the farthest away you can get from a gym. So, going down. Nope, because oh. we're going down to the conference centers. But it's kind of cool because you can see everyone here for the competition. Yeah. There are definitely a lot of weightlifters here, but there's also a different conference going on. It looks like healthcare or something like that. So <laughs> that's the way it goes. Isn't that kind of interesting? I think it's interesting. I don't know. We're back in the training hall right now where weightlifters, this is the weightlifting training hall, where weightlifters are prepping for um, the meet. Like if they, so there's the training hall and then there's the warm up room. So this is the training hall back here. And you can see Adam getting ready. But this is where weightlifters come, like let's say one day out um, or a couple days out while they're at the venue um, so that they have a gym where they can use the equipment and lift. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Shorty Sedan is here. At least I'm not the only power lifter in the doll playing. Um, I'm just doing overhead press, some barbell rows, some easy stuff. Should be fun. We're here at like 8 p.m. and we made sure to kind of scope everything out and make sure that we're not taking a platform or any space from the lifters that actually need it. It's pretty late, uh, so, and some people have already competed, so not too many people are here. I wouldn't be training if there were people like waiting for barbells or waiting for space to train. Just so you know. But it's pretty fun to be in the little hall. Do you feel 100%? <laughs> yeah. There we go. Babe. Babe, can you pinch my armpit while I go like this? <laughs> you gotta, no, you gotta do it. Hold on, hold on, wait. Oh, wait, no. no, no, wait. Yeah, no, okay. <laughs> this is the right place, right? <laughs> like this? <laughs> no, no, show me on him. <laughs> Here, you hold it. <laughs> You're gonna cry. I'm gonna come around. This is kind of like the. Is my lat bigger than Adam's or what? Uh, <laughs> about ten percent larger. <laughs> um, so we're gonna grab like just along the subscap right here. Yeah. I'm gonna pin it down. Oh. I'm also grabbing the terries right behind. And just press up and try to extend. Oh. Oh my god. Yeah. So try to really kind of extend a little more. Oh. Like that. that. Ouch. I'm really like lock your elbow out. That's good. And then we're gonna then grab sort of like, this is the Coricobrachialis area right here. And then like, this is sort of like, you know, like the top of the pec. And now you want to try to just extend a little more. Just to kind of open it up. Uh, yeah, I think right. you're opening it up. 
That's my comb, by the way. That's Adam's coach. If you want to check, check out Black and Red Barbell, he'll be your coach. <laughs> uh, it's in Tyson's Corner. Tyson's. Tyson's Corner if you're in Virginia or the DC area. I recommend. There's a lot of good weightlifters. Adam, Juliet is lifting. Also a CrossFit uh, competitor. Nope. Full time weightlifter. Well, she's. Oh, she's good. No longer a CrossFit. She's like, Ayo, I'm coming for you. Nice. <laughs> I can do a muscle up like that. Uh, <laughs> what kind of barbell is this? Oh, cool. And this was last year in Houston? Or I guess. Yeah. Sweet. You got uh, some works on, some Aleko. How do you tell if it's works on if it doesn't have an end gap? Uh, actually, these ones say it on the inside. Where does it say works on? Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, right there. Is that your favorite kind of barbell, babe? <laughs> no. Uh, I mean, they're all good. They're all great. Any of the competition bars. What's your favorite kind? If you had all the money in the world, what kind of barbell would you buy? Kind of barbell. Actually, their gym has the Yusaka comp bars. Those things are cool. <laughs> oh, Mike Hom's gym? Mike Hom, if you had all the money in <laughs> That's what I just told you. I said my favorite barbell is the Yusaka comp bar. So that's the machine bar on the market. They are selling for seven fifty right now. On the road. I saw this. Yeah. Uh, or, uh, no, on their own. Maybe it's distributed to go eventually. Is it the know. econ bar? There are, is no, it's their comp bar. Their comp bar. They had a flash sale. It's the best. It's the best machine bar. On the I used it twice. What do you What do you mean when you say machine bar? So all these bars, if you, you know, look at it, right? They're the machine, like they're milled machine, right? Like there's a machine that actually like, you know, creates the neural, like either presses or grinds the knurling. Um, there's a machine that, um, you know, creates like the sleeves and all that, machines the sleeves and all that, you know, for precision and consistency. Yeah. Um, and depending on the maker, you know, um, not all IWF certified bars are, are created equal. Like they're all great bars, don't get me wrong. Um, but <clears throat> personally, you know, I think Yusaka makes the best bar on the market. Like, if you were to take it apart, their hybrid bearing system is phenomenal. Um, and don't get me wrong, like, there's like sort of like this like fit and feel and finish to like Alikos that are really good. But just like quality, Yusaka's made by the Japanese. Like, it's the best. <laughs> <laughs> their plates are their plates are the best. Or, or like hands down, like their plates. Are the best. So you can get Yusaka plates too. I've never seen those. Oh yeah, they're, they're super sale on Rogue actually. Yeah, the, can, the, OTC, the OTCs be um, I think sponsored by Yusaka. Like that was like their official supplier. A lot of their older plates are Yusaka. Like they're, they're bomb proof. Cool. They're awesome. You can buy like the uh, Atlanta edition plates on Rogue yeah. with like the cool spiral yeah. uh, metal caps. They're, 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 they're sweet. sweet. They're, they're awesome plates. They're good. They, they are, have trading sets, the like, are, black sets. Yeah, are not too but bad. they are super, super expensive. I'm, I mean, like, yeah. in, in all reality, like, for the money, like, my favorite plates are just like their like, rogue um, kilogram plates. Those things are awesome. Well, the DHS training set's a pretty good value for a full, like, oh, bar, yeah, you like, always post that. Yep. Absolutely. And, because um, you know, the bar works at like six. I have several DHS bars, men's and women's. Um, I have one of their econ bumper sets that. The that tens that are this big? Uh, no, they're like they're like this. They're like they're like an inch or an inch okay. or something like that. That Todd and Bud sold me, um, and 
it's an awesome set. Like I love DHS bars for like the value. Yeah. You know, but if money was no object, I would I would kit out my entire gym with like Yusaka. Nice. Yeah. So there you have it. Any millionaires out there looking to <laughs> open up the sickest gym to attract the sickest weightlifters? Just don't do it in Tyson's Corner where you can find Mike. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty cool. One day when we're balling, babe, I'll get you. Usaka or Yusaka? Usaka. I'll get you Usaka everything. Christmas ideas. Why do you I know, but, but because my face is like this close to it, 